Hello, as Vice President of Agricultural Administration and Dean of the College of Food, Agricultural and Environmental Sciences, and on behalf of our whole college, I wanna welcome you as we recognize our 2022 CFAES Distinguished Seniors and congratulate them on their accomplishments. The Distinguished Senior Award honors academic, disciplinary, and professional excellence in CFAES. It is the most prestigious undergraduate award in our college, recognizing our top graduating seniors each year from all of our academic units on the Columbus campus. Today, we recognize the diverse accomplishments of these students and the pride and excitement they bring to our college and our work. I'd like to highlight our mission at our college. It's simple and yet fundamental. We sustain life. This powerful and life-giving message has woven itself through our history and through the thousands of graduates who've gone out into the world bringing this mission to life. It represents our heritage, but even more so, our most cherished hopes. It's our core identity to foster that which serves and sustains life. And so we encourage the desire to understand, to question, and to help find solutions to increasingly complex problems. We celebrate persistence, service, dedication, and those who reach out to build not just solutions, but relationships. At the center of our college and its purpose are our students. We are committed to a student's first philosophy and throughout the entire college, we strive to ensure the learning, success, health, and well-being of students is our top priority. We not only invest in our students to prepare them academically, but we drive to equip our students to be the next generation of leaders to address the future needs of society. CFAES Distinguished Seniors are selected based on excellence in the areas of research and innovation, rising above challenges, service and involvement, epitomizing core values of diversity, equity and inclusion, and integrity, influence and leadership, and of course, academics and scholarship. While each of our seniors excels across multiple areas, for tonight's program, we have asked them to share from their undergraduate experience in one of these areas. Now, let's meet the 2022 CFAES Distinguished Seniors. Hi, my name is Shannon Dixon. I am from Melbourne, Florida, and my major is Food, Agricultural, and Biological Engineering with a specialization in Ecological Engineering. My name is Gautam Afte. I'm from Shaker Heights, Ohio, and I'm a Forestry, Fisheries, and Wildlife Science major. My name is Avery Brewer. My hometown is Hudson, Ohio, and my major is Sustainable Plant Systems, Plant Biosciences, as well as Philosophy. My name is Tania Ortiz Santiago. I am from Toalta, Puerto Rico, and I'm a Food Science and Technology major. I presented at the ICRS. Uh, it was a virtual conference. Uh, normally it's done in Germany, but with COVID, they had it international, they had it uh, over Zoom. So for that, I presented my research. Uh, it was just a poster board. It's about a three minute presentation on my thesis, which was um, how coral can, how a coral acclimates to long-term stress. And, and so this stress would be under future ocean conditions, such as like high temperature, high pH, and can we expect coral to acclimate or will they, like, so it's more looking into what species will acclimate and what species won't, because we're at this point right now where not, not all coral reefs are going to be able to be saved. So where can we financially put money in and what can we put our conservation efforts to give the coral species that are most likely to acclimate the best chance of acclimating? Being a Buckeye means to me of being a part of a larger community. As an out-of-state student, I have found that the Buckeye community is 
global and they're all enthusiastic and they're all supportive. So being able to be a part of the traditions and community here has really meant the most to me as a Buckeye. Like being able to travel and hearing people go, oh H, if you're wearing an Ohio State shirt at the airport, has just been a completely unique experience because I don't feel like there's a lot of universities that get to really have that level of excitement and level of commitment. So I actually toured the campus when I was 16 with my grandfather and he just had such a love for the campus. I'm not sure if I actually liked the school or if it was just his excitement that rubbed off on me. He like snuck me into buildings on campus. It was a really good time. And I just decided that, you know what, like I wanted to kind of rip off the band-aid and move from home and try out a new city and a new school. And Ohio State had a great engineering program. And I was just overall excited to kind of follow in his footsteps. Half fall, I got my grandfather a guest pass for the Big Ten Conference games for his Father's Day present. And getting to be able to experience my last football games as a senior with the man who inspired me to come to Ohio State has been great because he's an alumni and he had such a great time and getting to see his excitement and being on the field and talking about how his seats were better or getting to really bond in the student section was just a really great time and definitely a highlight of all four years of my time here. In high school I started working uh, volunteering at the local nature center by my house in Shaker Heights. Um, there's a small songbird banding station where they actually put leg tags on migrating birds um, as a way of tracking their health, tracking population dynamics in migration, migratory species over the years. Um, and that experience was really valuable for me. For me, it showed me what I was really interested in and uh, that led to what I'm doing now. I picked Ohio State um, because I looked at a lot of schools, both local and far away. And when I visited Ohio State, I was really impressed by the campus and the faculty and the, the courses offered here. And I thought that some of the research being done here was a really good way to get involved in what I eventually wanted to do in uh, my career. I think that managing our campus research program where we monitor for avian window collisions has been really valuable and a uh, point of pride for me. Um, I've really been able to see a lot, a lot of students get involved over uh, the three years that I've been managing it and uh, we've made some really meaningful impacts both here on campus and with other universities who are trying to get their own initiatives started. Um, so I think that's probably what I'm most proud of. I chose my major because I've always been really interested in science and engineering. However, as I started getting more involved in the life sciences in high school, I realized that there's just so much potential in the agricultural field and not that many people are going into it. Um, I know that agricultural processes are responsible for so many emissions and with a growing population, we're going to have to really radically innovate and so it just seemed like a really exciting space to be getting involved in. I would say that the experience that's given me the greatest sense of success and self-accomplishment during my time at OSU was the opportunity I got to intern with the genome editing group at Corteva AgriSciences. Uh, this was in Des Moines, Iowa, and I just got to work on a really exciting project uh, developing a novel cast nuclease for applications in CRISPR gene editing. And the people I worked with were absolutely amazing. I just felt like I had so much responsibility within the company, and it was technically rigorous and challenging, and I really appreciated the sense, or I really appreciated the opportunity to rise to the occasion. So I have pursued a double major during my time at Ohio State, and the combination has been sort of questioned by some people, one of them being plant biosciences and the other being philosophy. A lot of people don't perceive there to be a lot of overlap there. However, I feel like science is very much in the business of answering questions and philosophy is in the business of how to ask good ones. And so there's a lot of natural interaction between these two majors, and I think I I think that my philosophy education makes me a more capable scientist, and I think my scientific education makes me a more rigorous philosophy student. And I think it's really cool to see the intersections, especially in areas like ethics and policy, where there is a really natural marriage between the two subjects. And in addition to that, I'm just really passionate about both. So I chose Ohio State because I saw the curriculum for food science and technology and I was really attracted to the courses and so I decided to come here. I was in Puerto Rico when Hurricane Maria passed and I really got interested in food preservation and the science behind that so I thought food science was a good fit for me. At the time 
we didn't have a bachelor's in food science in Puerto Rico. It, that came after I came here to Ohio State and I didn't really want to wait. So I decided to come to Ohio State and study food science. An experience that provided me the greatest sense of success was actually an internship with Jenny's Blended Ice Creams where I got to make a product from prototype and it was really rewarding because I got to apply whatever I um, learned in classes and apply it in real life in a job, so that was really rewarding. For me, being a Buckeye is not about just me, it's about how we come as a community together and strive constantly and selflessly to provide a positive impact to the community. My name is Camden Desay. My majors are entomology and biology, and my hometown is Dublin, Ohio. My name is Emma Rand. I'm from Guilford, Connecticut, and I'm majoring in biological engineering. Uh, so my name is Preston Sheets. I'm from Cortland, Ohio, and I'm an agricultural systems management major. My name is Isabella Barrero. I am a plant pathology major with a minor in German and microbiology and I don't really have a hometown. I grew up military so I'm from all over the place. Been to eight different states. Currently my family is in Tampa though. When I was a freshman I came in um, wanting to be a physician and while it's still my dream, I was getting really burnt out with my, my coursework as, as a freshman. Um, it was a big change from, from high school. A lot of chemistries, a lot of hard sciences. It necessarily wasn't what I wanted to do, but it was, um, I had to get through it. And so I, I fell back on a lifelong passion of mine in entomology. I actually did a science fair project when I was in eighth grade about the Emerald Ash Borer with an Ohio State faculty member. And so after talking to my advisor, you know, we thought, why not take an entomology course? And so I did. Um, and after that, I was hooked. I, I chose to add entomology as my second major, and I've become more involved than I ever could have imagined. I think the most rewarding experience has been, you know, being a recipient of the Undergraduate Research Apprenticeship Program Award. Um, through that, I was able to do research with a faculty member, Dr. Sarah Short, um, where I've researched um, disease vectors, specifically Aedes aegypti, which is a type of mosquito. Um, it aligns with my medicine interests and my entomological interests. And it's been really rewarding to go through the scientific process to make real strides in a field that is so, I'm so passionate about and really grow not only as a scientist, but as a critical thinker and as a student. In terms of an experience that has provided me with the greatest sense of success, it's been uh, the academic achievements that I've accomplished while balancing so many other extracurriculars. Um, I've achieved leadership positions in both my student organizations. I've won multiple scholarships and multiple grants and awards to do my research. Um, I've achieved a 4.0 GPA while majoring in both entomology and biology and while uh, doing pre-medical prerequisites. And it's been, it's been really rewarding to um, achieve those things. I originally came in as a pre-biomedical engineer, um, but then when I came to Ohio State I realized that I was more interested in food and agriculture as well as biology and I couldn't only focus in on medical devices. And so the food, agriculture, and biological engineering department allowed me to keep my major as broad as I wanted, but then get as specific as I wanted as I focused more in during my um, growing years at Ohio State. So it allowed me to really enhance my undergraduate experience part of the Society of Women Engineers and being able to get back to the Columbus area. And so I've been the outreach director for the Society of Women Engineers for the past two years. Um, and so I've been able to um, give back to those and be a mentor to those um, within that organization and really share my love of engineering with the future engineers. I first came to Ohio State, I thought engineering was only driving a train. I didn't really know what that meant um, in the sense of science and technology. And so being able to be the outreach director, I'm able to be the mentor that I never had in the form of engineering and really sharing all those experiences with others. And it makes me just feel very accomplished in the sense that I'm giving back to those and really assisting in growing the organization. 
to me of being a Buckeye is being selfless and always sharing your knowledge with others. And so we are here and learning so much, but it's important to take that knowledge and share it with everybody else around the world. Well, I picked Ohio State in the College of Food, Agriculture, and Environmental Sciences is because I grew up in Ohio with a farming background, and I always knew that I wanted to go to school for agriculture. My aunt came here, my cousin came here, was in the College of Food, Agriculture, and Environmental Sciences, so I said, what's a better place to go learn about agriculture than Ohio State? For the greatest sense of success I had here at Ohio State, is a little different than what probably most people would do. Um, during uh, COVID in 2020, um, the online school really provided me with the opportunity to pursue uh, other passions uh, in the show dairy cattle industry. Um, so I was able to attend on online school and work with some great people and some great cattle and make some great friends through those uh, opportunities with online school. It means the world to be a Buckeye to me. Uh, I can go anywhere around the, around the country, around the globe and tell people I uh, go to Ohio State and they instantly know what that means and um, just the amount of respect people hold for this institution is amazing and um, I can't wait to call myself an alumni one day. my best friend in high school. We both applied to Ohio State at the same time. And after we did that, her family comes from a long line of Buckeye alumni. So her dad graciously offered to host us and give us a tour. So we both took a trip up to Ohio State. And then after that, I kind of fell in love with campus and decided that's where I wanted to be. As for CFAAS, I actually didn't come straight into CFAAS. I was originally a business major, but after taking a GE, in uh, CFAS entitled Moles Mushroom Man, taught by Dr. Mitchell here at the Department of Plant Pathology, I decided that that's where I need to be. I had originally not known that plant pathology was an option for me. My mom was an immigrant and my dad didn't go to college until I was in high school. So I got the stereotypical, you can do business, you can do math, you can be a chemist, but I didn't know that that was an option. So I had always grown up with a deep connection to plants through my family, through my grandfather. He raised and had vegetables, fruits, trees, bushes, flowers growing up, and I often helped him in the garden. So once I got to Ohio State and took a GE course connected to plant pathology, I was like, oh my goodness, this is a direct link to that childhood and to the things that I love, and that's why I decided to join the major. The two things that have provided me with the greatest sense of success and self-accomplishment as an undergrad would be one, academically, I went from a non-STEM major to a STEM major and originally struggled quite a little bit adjusting to that and adjusting to the coursework and the topics. And then to go from struggling and being concerned, should I even have done this, to getting dean's list with all upper grade classes in my major was huge for me. And then on the community service side, I had the opportunity to serve as vice president of programming for my sorority, Sigma Lambda Gamma Sorority Incorporated, the Pi Epsilon chapter here at Ohio State, and also got to serve as president for one semester. So I consider those also a great accomplishment. The breadth and depth of accomplishment by our CFAES distinguished seniors is a testament to their hard work and dedication. Equally important to each of them was the involvement of mentors to provide insight and guidance along the way. A strength of our college is the number of faculty and staff mentors dedicated to empowering students to reach their academic and career goals. Let's hear from a couple of this year's mentors as they speak about the importance of mentoring to the educational experience in the college. When I work with undergraduate students in the laboratory, I really like to give them as genuine a research experience as possible. So that means letting them try to think of their own questions, letting them design their own experiments, collecting the data, having their experiments not work, troubleshooting them, and ideally getting their own data that they can then analyze and present or even write a manuscript on. When I'm working, when I'm doing research with undergrads, I really love watching them go through the experience of research. And probably the best part is when they've been in the lab for a little bit, and then they come to me with an idea for the next step, or what they want to do next, or how they would build off of this experiment. And that's when I really start to see them come alive as researchers and start thinking like scientists and scholars. That's probably the most exciting part for me. After 40 years of building bridges, dams, and buildings, then coming to teach and mentor these young people, it's so much more rewarding for me 
to build people rather than things. I have a love for these people and I, I take a strong interest in their personal lives, their scholastic lives, and in their internships. And I like to take what I've learned over the years and, and help them uh, not make the same mistakes that I have made and I've seen others make. When I come home from the classroom at the end of the day, I feel fully fulfilled like I have not uh, earlier in life. I'm Mallory Cottle, I'm from DeGraff, Ohio, and I'm an agricultural communications student. So my name is Emily Timmis. I am from Piqua, Ohio, and my major is food science and technology. My name is Mary Ellen Bliss. Uh, my hometown is Ashland, Ohio, and my major is agri-science education. I'm Danny, Danny Hutchison. I'm from Lewis Center, Ohio, just north of Columbus, and my major is Natural Resource Management with a specialization in Parks and Recreation. My name is Elisa Mancini. I'm from Girard, Ohio, and my major is Environmental Science. I chose agricultural communications because I had an interest in English and also um, agricultural legislation and policy and it felt like a best fit for me to learn communication strategy and communication theory while also having my agricultural experience as well. Um, I come from a family of Buckeyes and CFAS Buckeyes to be specific, so it was an easy choice for me to have uh, the big university land grant experience but still being close to home. The experience that provided me with the greatest amount of success is the senior capstone for agricultural communication students. We formulate the Agri-Naturalist magazine, which is the oldest land grant and student-led magazine in the country. And every year we produce a magazine. And so this year we're working on that. And it's just been really humbling to work with a team of my peers and produce a uh, beautiful piece of artwork for the end of the year. I was doing a lot of research into what colleges actually offer food science. Turns out it's not a lot. And in Ohio, there's really only one, the Ohio State University. So it kind of made my decision really easy. Um, I saw OSU and I saw all the things that their grads are doing in my field. And I knew that, that this was gonna be the school to give me the opportunities that I wanted. Being an officer in the Food Science Club, I started out as treasurer. Um, so Food Science Club is one of the biggest clubs in the Food Science Department. Um, it focuses on personal development, um, industry connections, and leadership. I wanted, not that treasurer is being easy, but I wanted um, a more simple start into being in that leadership role on the exec board and being a part of a club and um, doing things for members. And so I did a year of being treasurer. It was also the year of COVID. So I got to do a lot of online banking, very fun. But um, after that year of being treasurer, I was approached by the then president at the time and he was like, hey, I think that you'd be a really good president. I think that you and my friend Melanie would work really well together. And we were like, you know what? We will. And so we became co-presidents of Food Science Club and we continued to lead. And it was a very good time. To me, to be a Buckeye, it means being something bigger than yourself. Um, OSU is a giant school. It has so many connections, so many opportunities out there in the real world. And you learn the skills to make a difference from the people around you, in your community, and with your career, you can make a difference in the world. Um, so being something bigger than yourself, absolutely what I think of when, it, when I think of being a Buckeye, besides, of course, eating Buckeye donuts and enjoying the Oval and Oval Beach in the summer. When I was in high school, I was able to get involved in the FFA organization and my ag teachers are so influential in my life and getting to see the type of impact that they had on their students really led me to believe that my passion could also be in agriculture education as a career for my life. 
Probably the most rewarding experience here at Ohio State was my four years in the Agricultural Education Society. Being able to be in a, the oldest student organization on campus with some of my friends and being able to serve in different officer positions, including being the president and growing in my professional development with my advisors, friends, and creating opportunities that I don't think I would otherwise have. So I was able to work with Ohio Farm Bureau. Ohio Farm Bureau Foundation is a advocacy and grassroots organization that focuses on policy and legislation that connects and strengthens rural agricultural communities. And so in that role, I was able to work in day-to-day -day operations and see Farm Bureau behind the scenes. Also talk with members and the member benefits that Farm Bureau has to offer. And every day was a different day, including getting to have an informational booth at the Pearl Market in downtown Columbus. So seeing where urban and rural meet together. The most rewarding part of my undergrad was probably being an environment and natural resource scholar because this is a community that I came into Ohio State, I applied, I knew I was going to be in it before I even stepped foot on campus. So I, to, I really wanted to invest myself in this community. I joined the Leadership Council first opportunity I got and this family that ended up growing out of that was one of the most valuable pieces of this whole, the last four years. I met my best friends. I met, I lived with the same girls from freshman year when we were roomed together. Like we have a house together now. Um, I experienced all of these different things that I never would have otherwise. I went on my first backpacking trip with them. I started rock climbing with them. I learned about my passion for service with them. It also really helped me for the first time see myself as a leader being a part of the LC, and then moving onwards to becoming a community coordinator for this new family program we had developed to help welcome the new cohort of freshmen into the program and into the university, and then eventually becoming the co-executive officer with my best friend. Like, I received a lot out of this program in the camaraderie and the experiences and the confidence and leadership skills I was able to build, and then being able to turn back around and give that back to the incoming freshmen and sophomores, that was, that was really special. I chose Ohio State because I grew to live Columbus at a young age. I have family in the area, so visiting them really made me love the city. And my sister was also a Buckeye, so hearing about how much she loved Ohio State and the School of Environment and Natural Resources was kind of how I ended up in my specific major. I chose CFAES because of all of the resources that it had. Um, Ohio State is a city within a city, so having a lot of natural resources was really something that won me over because that's hard to find in a place like Columbus. I chose environmental science as my major because I've always loved science um, from a young age. That was my favorite subject in school. And once I was in high school, I really started to care about the environment and I, it became more apparent all of the environmental issues that we were facing as a society. And I really wanted to kind of make a difference in that and change things for the better. So environmental science gave me that natural science education path while I could also live out my love for the earth. During my time as an undergraduate at Ohio State, I found GIVE, which is Growth International Volunteer Excursions. And through GIVE, I've had the opportunity to travel to both Tanzania and Hawaii and engage in asset-based community development. And both of those trips were unlike anything I had ever experienced. So I had to fundraise and I used my step money for both of those um, opportunities. And it was really rewarding because I've always wanted to travel and kind of see the world. So being able to do so in a sustainable, volunteer way was really awesome. Um, my name is Mackenzie Lang. I am a construction systems management major and I'm from Commercial Point, Ohio. I'm Sarah Lehner. I'm from Delaware, Ohio, and I'm double majoring in animal sciences and agribusiness and applied economics. My name is Catherine Arrio. My I came from Reynoldsburg, Ohio, and my major is Forestry, Fisheries, and Wildlife. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Stroud, and I am from Spencer, Ohio, and my major is Animal Sciences. 
Um, I actually started my college career at the University of Florida in athletic training. I tried a couple different majors out there and started to get a little homesick, wanted to come back to Ohio. And so I transferred to Ohio State and I have generations of family members in construction management. So I thought I'd give that a try and fell in love with it. Um, so initially I was kind of put off by construction management because everyone in my family's done it on both sides for years and years and years. And so I wanted to do something different and eventually I just kind of figured, you know, um, maybe there's a reason why we all do that. It's something that we're all fairly good at and, you know, it doesn't hurt networking. And so I thought I'd try it out and I just fell in love with the material. What it means to be a Buckeye is being a part of something that's bigger than yourself and making an impact on the community around you. After graduation, I've accepted a position as project manager for ASI Commercial Roofing and Maintenance, a small roofing contractor in Plain City, Ohio. I decided to come to Ohio State and chose CFAES because I knew that I was always passionate about agriculture and CFAES offered a community of others that shared that passion that I could connect with and um, I've really enjoyed getting to do that throughout my years in college. I chose my major because I always knew that I wanted to work in the dairy industry, but I was never sure exactly where. The Animal Sciences program allowed me to explore that interest and I was able to complement that interest through extracurricular activities and internships that really allowed my experience to come full circle. The experience that I've enjoyed the most and found the most rewarding throughout my time at Ohio State has probably been dairy farming. I am fortunate to have my family's dairy farm 40 minutes away from Ohio State's campus. So as I moved to college and tried to figure out what I wanted to do as a career, I kept being called back to the farm and um, I found that that was something I really wanted to do. So there's nothing more rewarding to me than delivering a calf and caring for that animal through her entire life and um, seeing that genetic progress made in the next generation, something I'm really passionate about. So I chose Ohio State and Cephas because um, when I first visited, actually back in junior high, I realized that it was the perfect place for me to go to for my post um, high school career. Because um, to me, Ohio State represents the, uh, like, the state as a whole in terms of diversity, community, and like its history. Um, I, when I came here, I realized like how many people from like all over the country and like across um, the sea, uh, the ocean as well come to Ohio State, and the amount of diversity I saw here was not unlike what I what I saw back from my um, little suburban community as well. It's like scientific curriculum is very strong, so I realized that if I wanted to go into environment into environmental focused career, I realized that Ohio State would have the perfect support for me to learn all the skills and knowledge I can in order to pursue a career with, say, the EPA or the ODNR. Growing up, I had been frequently exposed to the various like diversity of like animals and plants and various organisms that's around Ohio and abroad. So growing up, my mom would take me to the local metro parks and the Columbus Zoo, and I would always, I would love spending hours just visiting the nature center there or just looking at the different animals that are in the enclosures and just learning more about where they came from and how they came to be there and learning about, let's say, like their status in, the, in terms of like population in the world. During my time here at Ohio State, the experience that was the most rewarding for me was definitely pursuing my um, research project. Uh, I, I had begun um, learning, um, trying to come up with a project during my sophomore year. And I was, and I managed to find a research advisor in Dr. Suzanne Gray, who runs the um, aquatic physiology lab at, at SCNR. And then right when we're about to start the project, the pandemic hit, so that kind of threw a whole, our plans into disarray. So it was like a lot of troubleshooting, a lot of adjustments that needed to be made, but I was just so grateful for the support that um, Dr. Gray and all my lab members had in trying to make sure the project was, was done to completion. And it was very rewarding just being able to come to a project on my own and being able to just do the experiment and have my results now and knowing that I had the support I needed throughout the whole procedure really helped, really was, I was very grateful for that. The reason that I chose Ohio State was because this university felt like home to me from the second I stepped on campus. I love the community atmosphere that we have here as well as all the opportunities that were presented to me in my um, visits here. 
Additionally, I did not start out in the College of Food, Agriculture, and Environmental Sciences. I started out in the College of Arts and Sciences as a molecular genetics major. I've always been interested in going into veterinary medicine in my future. However, I did not know that animal science existed. But once I got to campus, I soon learned that the College of Ag was a thing in general, and I found my home there. It reminded me of my hometown. It reminded me of where I grew up. I grew up in a small town of 700 people, and I love the close-knit feel as well as like the on-hand animal experience that I got, which is why I made the switch. So from the age of about eight years old, I've been interested in becoming a veterinarian, and I wanted to find the best major to prepare me for my journey into vet school. And when I learned about the animal science program and I learned about all the different opportunities you have to connect with animals from dogs to cows to turkeys and beyond, I realized that that was the place for me. And so I picked animal science just to get the overall experience and as well I like the small major feel. One of the experiences that I've enjoyed the most here at my time at Ohio State has been my involvement with the Animal Science Community Alliance. This is an organization offered to students in the department and it's our student-led leadership team. So we have about 16 individuals on the team per year, and throughout the year we just spend the year planning events to bring together our students and to support their needs. And I'm a big proponent of community, and I love to create a community atmosphere, and I love to make our department feel like a family. So by connecting our students to each other and bringing in new students to the department, as well as making bonds between our students and staff, I've been able to really create that community, and it's been a really enjoyable experience for me. The process for selecting CFAES Distinguished Seniors begins in our college's academic units. We spoke with a few of our nominators to give you some insight on the evaluation and selection of this year's Distinguished Seniors. So when we nominate Distinguished Seniors, we're really looking for students who are well-rounded. Distinguished Seniors will have excelled inside and outside of the classroom. They have pursued their passions overcome challenges and worked very hard, contributed to their programs and to the university in a variety of ways. Students who participated in extracurricular activities and uh, have had leadership opportunities, and in my opinion, who really are actually making the Ohio State community better. The students that were chosen this year have really gone above and beyond to pursue outside classroom experiences as well as continue to work very hard in the classroom and they've contributed to the university in many different ways. I love the diversity of contributions and disciplines that are represented in this group of distinguished seniors. So I think they really do sort of reflect that that distinguished senior that we uh, look to see in, in our student body. My name is Maddie Allman. I study community leadership with a specialization in community and extension education, and I'm from Chillicothe, Ohio. Hi, I'm Megan Gould. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm majoring in food science and technology. I'm Andy Moffitt. I'm from Dublin, Ohio. And my major is EADS. It stands for Environment, Economy, Development, and Sustainability. Hi, my name is Lydia Tantalo. Um, my major is food science and technology, and I'm from Syracuse, New York. My name is Tyler Zimfer. I am an agribusiness and applied economics major, and I'm from the hometown of Anne, Ohio. So Ohio State is one of the very few schools that offer a major in extension education. Um, and OSU Extension is quite literally the best program that I could choose from. Um, and so being an Ohio 4-H member for my whole life, OSU and CFAES was a no-brainer to me. I grew up as a 10-year 4-H member in Vinton County, Ohio. Um, and as a 4-H member, I really realized my passion um, for community development and youth development. Um, and so at Ohio State, again, one of the few schools to offer this program. And so it was a no-brainer to come here and study this major um, and hopefully get experience in the best program to do what I want to do. This year I was selected as only one of 20 students to serve on Ohio State's 2021 homecoming court. 
Uh, this was one of the best experiences that I had in my undergraduate career. Uh, just standing in the stadium with over 100,000 people just screaming and cheering for you, standing out on that field was just something I'll never forget. And it was so rewarding. Uh, as a first generation college student and as someone who comes from Appalachian, Ohio, like I do, it was just really cool to be able to stand in that space. To be a Buckeye means to be a part of something bigger than yourself. Uh, so to be a Buckeye means to be a part of tradition and history and just something that means so much to others and means so much to not only Columbus and Ohio, but the people all around the nation, uh, you know, those 500,000 alumni of Ohio State. So to be a Buckeye means to be a part of something bigger. I chose Ohio State because being from upstate New York, I wanted to go to a school that wasn't in New York. I wanted to just see more of what the world had to offer really. And I thought Ohio State was a great option because it's so big. And I'm the first one in my family and really anyone I knew to go to Ohio State. And I really only applied because a counselor recommended it in high school. And then I actually toured it my senior year and I fell in love with the campus and I knew that this is where I wanted to be. So I originally came into Ohio State as nutrition, and that was because I knew I had a passion for food and a passion for science. And quite honestly, I didn't know that food science was even a thing. I didn't know it was an option. And so coming into freshman year, I went to the activity fair and I found the nutrition club table. And I went up to the table and then looking over to my right, I saw the food science table. And immediately I was interested. I was like, what is food science? And so I signed up for the club and I showed up to the Parker Food Science building for the first club of the year. And I fell in love with the people and the topics they were talking about. And a semester later, I switched my major into food science. To be a Buckeye means always having community no matter where you are in the world. I have lots of experiences, I'm sure as lots of other Buckeyes do, of seeing people in random states or countries where you have your OSU gear on and people are gonna say something to you. I was actually in Maryland once wearing an Ohio State shirt and I was in Starbucks and a fellow Buckeye came up to me and he said, go box and he gave me a free coffee. <laughs> so it's stuff like that, that's just wherever you are, you're gonna find your fellow Buckeyes. I chose CFAES and food science because of my family history. I am now the fourth um, food scientist in my family and I'm also the 14th graduate from Ohio State. One of the experiences that has given me the greatest sense of success has been at one of my previous internships. During the first year at this internship, I created a protein pudding for the military and the second year I was there, they launched it and it's really, I'm really proud of this because I'm getting to see and help soldiers in the US military. One of the experiences I enjoyed the most about my undergraduate experience has been this past semester with the product development competition I'm a part of. I'm getting to work with my fellow peers and friends on a project that I'm pretty passionate about, which is creating an allergen-friendly alternative to popular snack dips. Being a Buckeye to me means family, tradition, and pride. Since I am the 14th graduate from Ohio State, I've really seen um, the family and tradition, and I grew up with being a Buckeye, so it's really cool to me to continue this legacy. I found my major through a field trip that I took in high school, but I really fell in love with it because of how holistic it was. It covered uh, you know, more than just environmental science that uh, I was interested in and more than business that I was interested in. It, it really hit the whole spectrum. Um, so, so that made me, you know, really fall in love with it and, and stick with it throughout my four years. My, my favorite experience was probably my internship experience out in Cimarron, New Mexico. I worked uh, doing forestry work out there. Uh, that left me with a lot of accomplishment, sense of accomplishment. Being able to learn a new thing, learn about forestry that I had no idea anything about uh, before and then get to meet some, some new people in the absolute coolest place in the world uh, was you know, invaluable to my, to my growth. Being a Buckeye means more than just uh, the facilities and the academics. It's the people that you meet that carry on after you graduate, I think. Uh, I was in an interview just 
last week and the, the interviewer was a Buckeye. Uh, they were actually my major, which is a pretty unique major, so it was cool to get that connection. Uh, and it, it's just people being open and friendly, uh, ready to, to share their experiences with you. I chose Ohio State and CFES because it was more of a natural transition for me. I had a lot of peers that I looked up to in high school that um, graduated a couple years before me that chose this specific school and this specific uh, major and I saw them succeed and I wanted to do the same and, and write my own script. I'm a first generation college student and the application process was definitely something uh, that, that threw me for a loop, um, but I was really excited that Ohio State gave me those resources and I got those resources from high school to, to eventually come here to Columbus. Agribusiness and Applied Economics was the right major for me because I knew that I was interested in business. I was interested in learning more about the world and how the world works. Um, but I also knew that I wanted to go to law school and that was something that interests me as well. So I wanted to set myself up for uh, the best possible scenario going into my last year of college. Something that gave me the greatest sense of, of success and self-accomplishment would be starting in March of 2020 uh, when the pandemic hit. I was, like a lot of us, uh, thrown off campus and um, led to, to do all online school uh, for that semester. And I actually started working full time for my dad's business. Um, we, they build construction lines and I worked 40 to 50 hours a week while also going to school and finishing that semester while also taking summer classes that, that summer. But it also allowed me to start standing here, graduating as a three year senior that came in with no college credit plus um, and doing two summers of, of classes to, to be where I am now. I'm Cora Dorman, I am from Croton, Ohio, and I am an Agribusiness and Applied Economics major. My name is um, Ava Forstek. My major is Sustainable Plant Systems with a specialization in horticulture, and my hometown is Dublin, Ohio. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Ohl, and I am from Alexandria, Ohio, and majoring in Animal Sciences. My name is Bailey Jane Ward. I'm from the small town Oak Hill, Ohio, which is in southeastern Ohio, and I'm majoring in animal biosciences and a minor in meat sciences. I chose Ohio State and CFAES because of the opportunities that exist here. Uh, it was also a way to in further my interest in agriculture and continue the family tradition. My mom was a Buckeye and now I am soon to be a Buckeye alum. I picked my major because it gives me the opportunity to help farmers and those in agriculture with their businesses. When I was 16, I really had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, I, know I, wanted to go to, I knew I wanted to go to college, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. Um, my dad was in the field driving the combine and he asked me if I wanted to drive. So I, I took the seat. I had no idea what I was doing, but I started driving and I loved it. Uh, that was the point in time when I figured out what I wanted to do and that was be in agriculture. My most rewarding experience in my undergraduate career was being a volunteer at Huckleberry House. Um, during my sophomore year, I volunteered about 60 hours there before COVID kind of shut things down. Um, as a volunteer, I worked in the food pantry, worked on community events, and worked on some administrative projects. Being a Buckeye means being a part of something that is bigger than yourself and being rooted in tradition, but also open to change and innovation. I've always known that I really loved um, plant sciences and horticulture. Um, even as a kid, I always grew tons of plants. My apartment is full of plants and I just, I was mystified by them. I wanted to learn everything I could and I just wanted to surround my life with that. I had a summer internship with Corteva AgroSciences where I worked as a plant pathology intern in um, controlled environments where I worked on various pathogens and I was testing product efficacy in various situations such as rain fastness, UV, 
Um, I learned a lot about the corporate atmosphere and how that varies from academia. That was something I really didn't expect. And I'm really happy I did this internship because it made me comfortable in not only academia where I'd had all my classes and a lot of my previous experience, but in this brand new field where it was fast paced, it was different. I mean, all the labs were beautiful. All the experience I had was great. The experience that has provided me with the most accomplishment throughout my undergraduate career would be my involvement with Pi Alpha Z, which is our horticultural honor society here at Ohio State. We've worked really hard to induct a lot of new members, and this year we're bringing in close to 20 new members. And it's just a great experience for a lot of undergraduates to get involved with our field in plant sciences and to learn a lot and to connect with a lot of people. To be a Buckeye means to be a part of a big community that's full of great resources. It means running into people from Ohio State around the world all the time. It's It means that you'll never really be alone, that you'll always have resources, you'll have people to talk to, and you'll just have a connection anywhere you end up. <laughs>So I actually came in as a biology major, pre-veterinary student, um, but I roomed with an animal sciences major my freshman year. And seeing her with all of the hands-on experience that she got with animals and animal handling and the intro to animal sciences laboratory, um, I really wanted to do that. So I kind of talked to her a little bit about it and she helped kind of introduce me to animal sciences. And so two weeks into my freshman year, I switched to animal sciences and have loved it ever since. So this year, actually, I became a member of the Animal Sciences Community Alliance, which is ASCA. It's our student leadership team in the Department of Animal Sciences. And um, I have really enjoyed this experience. It's allowed me to be a teaching assistant within Animal Sciences and also um, plan some college-wide events. So Back to School Bash and then also the Animal Sciences Winter Mixer. Two of those events I had never had the opportunity to attend my freshman year because I was a biologist major and then also with conflicting class schedules so just being able to bring together the college community in those events and also do community outreach and service as well has been really rewarding. So one of the experiences that has really helped provide me with a great self sense of success and self accomplishment here at Ohio State is taking a skydiving class. Um, so during this class, we learn not only how to skydive, but also how to manage our fears and believe in ourselves more and overcome fears and pursue opportunities outside of our comfort zone. And taking what I learned from this class, um, I've been able to do that here at Ohio State during my last year. And my biggest goal in life has been pursuing a degree in veterinary medicine. And so taking what I learned from this class and pursuing those opportunities outside of my comfort zone and the self-confidence that I gained from it really allowed me to, um, to complete my interview confidently. And um, I'm happy to say that I was accepted into Ohio State's veterinary school this year. I chose animal sciences within CFAES because I knew it would best prepare me to be a food animal veterinarian. I knew it would provide me with the different professional relationships here, uh, different classroom experiences, uh, doing different research and educational experiences to best prepare me getting into vet school. The experience I probably found the most rewarding in my undergraduate career would refer back to the beginning of my senior year, which was this year. I was presented with the opportunity to be the OSU Swine Farm Manager. And within that opportunity, I was given a lot of responsibility, working full time almost while going to school full time. Although it was a challenge, I am forever grateful for that opportunity as I gained a lot of different leadership opportunities, had to step up as a role model for my peers, uh, did different professional relationships, and learned so much from our veterinarian, and got to get a lot of hands-on work in a field that I will continue to pursue later on in my future. Coming from a low-income family and a very small hometown, the experience that provides me with the most success and that is the most self-rewarding would be finally achieving my lifetime dreams of becoming a food animal veterinarian. Um, my entire life, I was told by some people that it is a really hard program, that you need to have something to fall back on, that you might not get there. But 
through all my hard work, dedication, and the different opportunities that I got presented to me and here at Ohio State and within CFAS, I was able to accomplish that dream. And I am forever proud of that. Thank you for joining us for this program to recognize the achievements of some of our very best students. I am Steve Neal, Associate Dean for Academic Programs. One of the hallmarks of our college is an emphasis on student success, and it is heartwarming to see it demonstrated through the accomplishments of our students. We're proud to recognize these students with the CFAES Distinguished Senior Award. I want to offer my personal congratulations to each of our recipients and also congratulations to the proud parents, family members, and friends. The Distinguished Senior Award is our most prestigious undergraduate award, recognizing our exceptional graduating seniors each year from each of the academic units on the Columbus campus. These recipients have inspired us with their passion, have made impacts inside and outside the classroom, pursued opportunities, and risen above challenges. While we honor our students for their outstanding achievements, I would be remiss if I did not recognize those who have encouraged, guided, and advised these individuals as they navigated their undergraduate programs. Each of us have benefited from the influence of mentors that have helped us along the way. And to the faculty, staff, and administration of the college, I want to say thank you for the investment you're making in the lives of our students. Our award recipients are on the cusp of graduating and beginning a new phase of life. We want to wish them all the best for future success and remind them that the college will be here to help them advance in their careers. While each of these students being recognized has a unique experience, they share a common bond. Soon they will be part of the alumni network of this college and university that spans the globe. So remember, wherever you go, the Ohio State University brand will be recognized and valued. Again, thank you for joining us as we honor our 2022 CFAES Distinguished Senior Award recipients. And to these remarkable students, congratulations on this well-deserved recognition and for all that you've accomplished during your time with us. Now let's take one last look at all of this year's CFAES Distinguished Senior Award recipients. Alisa Mancini. Andrew Moffat. Ashley Stroud. Ava Forsted. Avery Brewer. Bailey Ward. Camden Desay. Cora Dorman. Danielle Hutchinson. Elizabeth Ohl. Emily Timmons. Emma Rand. Gautam Apte. Isabella Guerrero. Catherine Orio. Lydia Tantalo. Mackenzie Lang. Madison Almond. Mallory Cottle. Mary Ellen Bliss. Megan Gould. Preston Sheets. Sarah Lehner. Shannon Dixon. Tanya Ortiz Santiago. Tyler Zimper.
At CFAES, we strive to sustain life, to address grand challenges facing humanity and our world on a small scale. We do that through discovery and research, education, partnership, but mostly, as is so well demonstrated today, at our college, we sustain life through the persistent efforts of each one of our people. Each of us has the opportunity to add to our common experience. We each bring our unique strengths, which enrich our community. I hope our outstanding seniors today create in each of us a restlessness to do better, to seek our best, to sustain life. Congratulations. Thank you all for joining us this evening. Please join me as we close our program with the great tradition of our alma mater, Carmen, Ohio.